I've blanked two people. I've blanked two people. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There are two types of people in the world, those who are movie quoters and those who are not. We are not movie quoters, and we are usually annoyed by people who are movie quoters. Yeah, so we're but, normal people. But we're we cool people. We realize there are a lot of you out there who are movie quoters, and maybe you just appreciate movie quotes even if you're not a movie quoter. I'm sure hoping so. Fingers crossed. It's time to play. I've removed some words from some movies, so now you have to guess what those words are. You just made what I hope is going to be a very exciting game sound... Kind of normal. You or, didn't like how catchy that was? I was thought about that for weeks. So uncatchy it became catchy. Okay. I uh, hope. Link, I'm going to read a movie quote for you. I'll give you a little context on what movie it came from. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to leave a word out or a phrase out or something and then give you a couple of choices, uh, three choices as to what might be the right thing to fill in the blank. Six of these, you get four right. You win. If you don't win, you have to drink a movie theater smoothie and more, and it's- I'm sure it won't be great. It'll be bad. Mm. Are these movies that everyone's seen except me, which is like every movie, or are these weird movies that nobody's seen? These are the six most popular movies ever to be made. <laughs> okay, so I haven't seen them. Yeah. Okay. If you like fast cars and murder, then you'll love Death Race 2000, an action comedy film about a race that earns contestants points by running over innocent bystanders. Oh. In this scene, the fierce competitor Frankenstein approaches his victims and is asked by his sidekick, what is that? To which he replies, blank day at the geriatrics hospital. They do it every year. Is it A, euthanasia? Ooh. B, sacrifice? Oh. C, dialysis? <laughs> dialysis day. I, I mean, every death, day is dialysis day. Death race 2000? I mean, I, I can see it being sacrificed because it seems like a dark, dark comedy. Mm -hmm. Euthanasia is very dark too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the extreme. I'm gonna go with sacrifice. sacrifice All right, day. Let's play the clip. What is that? Euthanasia day at the geriatrics hospital. Mm -hmm. They do it every year. Here he comes. He's coming. Get ready for him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, those people Ooh. had a lot of life left to live, Link. Took them out. Well, he took out the nurses. He didn't take out the old people. It's right. So he, that's justice is served. They, he showed mercy. Yeah, because they were. It's called Mercy Hospital. Do you see that? So I got that one wrong. You did get that one wrong, but I Euthanasia think Frankenstein, Day. Frankenstein made the right choice. Mercenary Michael Gold is on a mission to track down laser technology in the 1989 action movie appropriately titled Laser Mission. Mm. In this scene, Gold is throwing punches with an enemy when his love interest runs up and says, hey Gold, <laughs> I got the blank. Is it A, horse, B, plutonium, or C, laser technology you've been looking for? It's a very short film. <laughs> uh... Man, horse, uh, this is this is a crapshoot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gold, hee hee, I've got <laughs> the plutonium. I think this is sci-fi-ish. I'm going with plutonium. All right, let's see that clip. Lasers, plutonium. Hey, Gold, <laughs> I got the horse. I knew our luck was gonna change. That's a horse. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm helping you. <laughs> She's helping you. I, I think I know what our movie night's gonna be this month. <laughs> she brought the horse, man. Laser mission. It, plutonium does seem more likely, I will say that. Mm, you tricked me with that. But it was the horse. And she was just trying to help, guys. Gosh. In 2012, the sci-fi thriller Biohazard Patient Zero, there were two scientists who were wrapped up in a government plot to hide the truth about a biological disaster. Okay. They're also wrapped up in a love story when one scientist says to the other, less than 30 minutes ago I was making love to you. Since then there's been a contamination. We've had a lockdown. I've blanked two people. I've blanked two people. I said that during the teaser. You remember that? That was all for this. Yeah, but I didn't think it was gonna be made love. Is that, well, no. That's what is that a, is that one of the that's choices? That's what happened 30 minutes ago. Oh. Not with me, but within the context of the movie. A, is it killed? B, lost, or C, 
taught Spanish to? I've taught Spanish to two people. <laughs> I've taught Spanish to two. That has a, yeah. a ring of truth to it. Yeah, right. Uh, I should start going with C. Uh, I've killed two people is too obvious. I've lost two people. I've lost two people. He's a, he's, a, he's a doctor in a biological disaster. Or scientist? Okay. All right. Is lost. You, is A, B your answer? Yes. B, lost. Let's see what it says. Less than 30 minutes ago, I was making love to you. Since then, there's been a contamination. We've had a lockdown. I've killed two people. I've killed two people! Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Wait for it. Wow, that was so, it was a beautiful performance. That elbow movement. How have I never heard about this before? I'm well, talking about the guy. <laughs> <laughs> he was awesome. She was great. Yeah. She she's it's Oscar worthy. Very convincing. The, the 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 tension in the stand and then the elbow move. Speaking of not great, your score currently. Uh, oh, you're a three. For three. Man. Okay. These movies are so bad. I'm not able to tap into it. Link, let's see if you can sweep it from here. In the 1989 fantasy film Teen Witch, loved it. Louise is a witch who can conjure up everything except for love. So apparently she tries to conjure it up for her friend, Polly. In this scene, Louise urges Polly to talk to the boy she's head over heels for, Rhett. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> Are you in this? But Polly is too shy. She says, are you kidding? I'd be so embarrassed. Look at how blank he is. Tall. Is it A, rad, B, <laughs> Funky, <laughs> or C, many children in a trench coat. <laughs> Not the first time. I've Look been at how many children that. in a trench coat he is. <laughs> what is it, Link? Man, I'd be so embarrassed. Look at how funky he is. 1989. Keep that in mind. Mm. Rad. Look at how rad he is. I'd be embarrassed. All right, let's play the clip. Oh my God. You can dream until you but you will never talk <laughs> Let's go back the other way. No, just, just go up and, and talk to him. Are you kidding? I'm so embarrassed. Look at how funky he is. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you'd have just showed me a gif of how funky he was, <laughs> oh, this would have been easy. Oh, I mean, like, man, I've never been that funky. You never will never be. Never been that funky. It's the vest, man. Yeah. Get the vest. Sorry, I had to mislead you on that one to keep a streak alive. <laughs> funky, funky rat. In the 2013 paranormal thriller, Fateful Findings, a computer scientist, hacker, and acclaimed novel writer who also has mystical powers. Yes, he does. Attempts to reveal his fateful findings to the world. In, his, in this scene, he explains to his girlfriend what he's been up to. Quote, all this time, I haven't been working on my next book. I've hacked into the most blank government and corporate secrets. The most blank. Funky. The rad secrets. Nope. Different the most funky. Different choices. A, corporate. B, secret. C, government. <laughs> <laughs> really can't go wrong with this one. Uh, well, you can, actually. I've hacked into the most government, government, <laughs> and corporate secrets. The most government. That one's not right. Corporate government. Secret government. Corporate secrets. <laughs> Any way you go, it seems dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Corporate government. I'm gonna go with. I've been wrong every time, and I'm gonna say corporate, so now I'm changing it to secret. Okay. The most secret government and corporate secrets, the most secret. Okay, let's see what you got here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that salad's funny. <laughs> what? All this time, I haven't been working on my next book. I've hacked into the most secret government and corporate secrets. The most secret. <laughs> How? First of all, I got it right. But even, even more importantly, mm -hmm. How could that, how could something so horrible be active? You think that's horrible? It's so horrible that I feel fear. 
for them as actors. I thought that was wonderful, especially when the spinach dropped. That was the I'm best gonna, part. I'm gonna start using that as the, like a, as a saying. The spinach. Just wait till the spinach drops, baby. <laughs> the spinach was the best You'll actor. You'll look at me and go, <laughs> in this scene. <laughs> Okay, Link. All right, I got you one. You got one. When former substitute teacher, now professional skateboarder, Mark Dern is unjustly accused of murdering his wife, Ooh. he must find the real killer while being the target of a nationwide manhunt in this 1985 action thriller, Kill Guy. In this epic skateboarding finale, Kill Guy and his nemesis, Burt Cart, go head to head, and Kill Guy delivers this memorable line, I'm going to kill you for killing my wife, blank. Is this A, Guy, B, Bert, or C, Kevin from the Mythical Crew? Because this is fake. <laughs> it's fake? Well, his name is Bert, but his last name is Cart. I'm going to kill you for killing my wife, Guy, Bert, Kevin from the Mythical Crew. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kill you for killing my wife. His name is Bert, so I'm going with Guy. Let's roll that clip. <laughs> Hello, I am Burt Cart. I killed your wife. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you for killing my wife, guy. <laughs> no! Kill <laughs> me. You've just been killed by Kill Guy. I am Kill Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he is Kill, Kill Guy, because you were wondering, he, right? Was he starting to squat at the end? <laughs> a little bit. There was there was some more squatting that we cut out. It got a little too squatty for me. <laughs> Link, and you got two out of four. That means you lose. You've got to drink a smoothie theater smoothie and more. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Brett. And I'm Heidi. And we are in the Shire. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. You can fill the blank space inside of your mug with your favorite beverage but it better be a good mythical mug, and that is only available at rentlink.com slash store. Store, and click through to Good Mythical More, where I'm gonna make a movie theater themed smoothie as a punishment when I drink it. That's when the punishment happens. Gifticality, that means we are donating $1,000 to the American Refugee Committee to help them in their mission to provide refugees with health, education, shelter, and protection services. Join us in giving at arcrelief.org. Thank you for being your mythical best. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.